Hey everybody, this is David at Boneyard Bees. I want to get a little picture of something right here. And hopefully it'll show up on video. Um, that bee right there, and a lot of times you don't see this, it's her, uh, her wax glands. You, know, you can actually see, or some of there's more than one, there's several of them right there. Where you can see, if this shows up, I'll post it. If not, I won't. You can see those bees right there on their abdomen. You can see the wax glands where their the nectar flow is coming on fairly good. Plus, we're feeding them at the same time, so so these bees have a lot of wax gland producing. Uh, that one right there. Maybe it'll show up. We'll just hold it there for a minute if you can see. Right on their abdomen, it looks like layers of wax. And that's where they get that wax from that they draw out. Like, like this frame right here, you know, it's all new wax. And as they get nectar, that's importance of feeding the bees or make sure that you're in a honey flow because that's when they're going to produce wax. They got to produce wax to build up frames, to store honey, to, to uh, lay eggs, produce brood, reproduce. So that is the importance of making sure your bees get enough to eat. Now, when, when it comes time, you're ready to produce honey, you stop feeding sugar, of course. But here at Barnyard Bees, we don't um, raise bees for honey. We don't do honey. We do propagation of bees. So we can keep feeding as long as they'll take it to help them produce more and more wax producing glands and that is importance of feeding them when they need to be and also when you get remember when you get a lot of bees excuse the mess here folks or uh i gotta pick up all these lids to these feeders but when you get this many bees your three mile radius of honey flow only goes so far so you know, I, I, I filled these feeders up yesterday, all the way to the top. They're down an inch already. This was from yesterday. I mixed up 920 pounds of sugar. Not counting the water. There was 75 gallons of water. So, and it's actually, I can make that part of my video too. That's my new feeding system. I've already upgraded again. because it just wasn't keeping up it, it would be good if you had a hundred hives or so but the number of hives we have it just it did good it was gravity fed and uh it did good but it's just not quick enough and it just doesn't hold enough it was a 55 gallon drum where this is a 250 or 275 gallon tote and we have uh, a three-quarter horsepower submersible pump in the bottom and the way it works the pump goes up and it circulates back down into the tote and you can restrict that flow right here and that'll give you more pressure coming out into your feeding hose and there's a we have a little on and off switch right there and you can plug this into an electric cord or also I had a generator out here hooked up last night. It looks like a little gas pump. The thing works really good. But anyway, I was kind of getting off subject there. I wanted to show that was uh, had it parked right here. I had that about half full yesterday, that tote, and I've used that much in one feeding. And that right there will probably be, I'll probably feed again in two days. I'm hoping this, what I just fed them, will last for a couple days, and that will be gone. So, 
but anyway that gave me uh an idea to make a video when i saw that there's wax glands that stuck out pretty good and i hope that shows up on camera but if not just right up under their abdomen there's like three or four where the rings are underneath underneath their belly there's like little little rings and there's a uh wax glands the wax will actually stick right out those glands and they take them and, and of course they make that's what they draw out your comb with and i'm going through here and doing splits and that's what i was doing when i come across this so i thought i'd share that oh by the way i got a tripod on the way it should be here any day so from here on out, I'll have a tripod. I know everybody suggests I get a tripod and, and I need one because it, it is hard to film and at the same time. But all these lids that you see right here, I, I'm doing away with all those. They're actually the top of these. And as long as you keep your lid down good and there's no warp, there shouldn't be any problem with bees drowning. The, uh, the only bees getting in there is the ones that are uh, just flying in right now so but it was it was getting late last night and it was thunder and light and i was trying to hurry up and get them fed and and that's what i ended up i gotta go back and pick up today so but i just wanted to do a little video and i thought that was interesting and i th thought people may be curious of how bees make wax but that's how they do it and they'll draw it out and and the more you feed them the the more they'll they'll draw it out because they got to have sugar or nectar in order to draw out comb but i thank you for watching please like and subscribe to my youtube channel at barnyard bees thanks for watching